Hi, today I want to show you the multi-remote app uh, for Android, which is free and you can get it from Google Play Store. And first of all, I want to show you the server side. You, you need to download a server to put on your PC in order to control from your smartphone. So uh, here is the website. I will put the link in the description and here is how it works and uh, now I sh I'm going to show you where to download the server here is the page we you can download the server and I already downloaded it's only a zip file with a Java application I already unzip it here so let's start it the first time you start the Java application you might see the Windows Firewall alert. In our case, we only need the private network, so I use uh, allow access private network. And uh, now you can see it here. Here is the icon multi remote server. Click on it, then you can see here is the port number, and there are two IP addresses. Uh, listed. In our case, if you go to uh, open network setting, then go to a network adapter, you can see I've got two network adapter active and these two are here listed. And I'm going to start a virtual router I'm going to use the virtual router for my remote control. How to set up the virtual router you can find in another video. I'm going to put it down there. So I can start the Wi-Fi router. And virtual Wi-Fi router started successfully. And I'm going back to here, multi remote server and refresh it and you can see there's another IP address just came in we are going to use this for the demonstration now I'm going to show you the Android app on my phone okay here is now my Samsung Galaxy S2 and uh, I've already installed the app multi remote and when you open it you can go to the menu here and go to setting. You have to do some setting first. And list of server. At the moment, I've got already one server set up. And this is the 137.1 and 2626 is the port. I can test the connection, but before I do that, I need to start the server. The server is now started and I got a server here. For the virtual router my uh, machine is 137.1. This is the IP address I'm putting on my server setting on the remote app. And now I can press the, the test the connection and you can see here it's saying uh, someone is connecting the server and I can say add the IP to the list you can go to here and go to security now you can see there's a new machine added here this machine is uh, allowed to control this PC. Uh, I'm going to test the connection again because it, there was a timeout. Now it's saying the computer is connected. Now I can go out here. Now after the uh, smartphone is connected to the server, you can uh, we can do some testing.
you can go to here to get to the mouse uh, control okay now I'm gonna change my camera to up to show you my laptop screen so you can see me controlling the mouse pointer via my smartphone maybe it's not very clear but I can press the right mouse click it to see the context menu and now you can see I'm going up and down for my smartphone okay the mouse control is all right now I want to show you other feature of this app if you go to setting we have seen the list of server already of course you can add few more you can add new server uh, you can use the same app to control different PCs and let's go back out active remote you can see in the remote list there are some predefined uh, remote for Windows Media Center, PowerPoint and VLC player, WinM player and the game control and the game control uh, is not working quite well you can try it but I don't recommend and the last one is I defined by myself so I am going to show you the other options under custom remote you can uh, I've already added one and you can add uh, many more I can show you add a new one and go to setting you can change the name I'm going back here let's call it test and this is my test remote and there's a button 1 to button uh, 15 you can set each single button what it's supposed to do if you go to one single button this you can enable and or disable it and they are con uh, combination with the control key and the MAJ I guess is the shift key uh, in French and out and windows and they are all keys from 0 to 9 and ABC so you, you can set the key combination and they are also control key page up page down and cursor key and so on F function key as well so basically you can define the button for the keys and uh, since we already added the remote here and you will see it if you go back to active remote and you can see here the, here is our added new remote if I go out of the menu go to the menu here press on the remote and you can pick four different remotes these are already de defined and this is our new remote and you can see the buttons here we haven't defined anything yet and and I can go back to other remote this is the one or I already defined and this is the uh, VLC remote this is a Windows Media Player now I already started the VLC player on my laptop and I just want to show you how to control it from here it's working quite well press play and then start playing fast forwarding and now it's playing I can pause it and change it the full screen to normal and make it back to full screen and this is working quite well and I can change to other remote control anytime I'm going to show you another one this is the one I defined for my karaoke player and I put in the numpad here and I can select a song by entering the number you can see in the background and the press enter and it's taking the song I can press play here and it start playing now and I can stop it here it's working quite well 
as you can see, if I define a numpad here, it's a quickly run our button. But of course, you can define a uh, few more, and then you can wipe the screen. Go to another remote. So you uh, just define. This is the test one we defined before, and you can wipe the screen and then go back to here. So basically, uh, the number of the buttons are fixed. You can move or add few more button but you can if it's one hour button you can define another remote and uh, it's not very good i wish i can define more button on one single remote screen but it's usable and it's free and just download it and try it i hope you like it as well let me know what do you think thank you for watching bye